Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you five of the easiest part-time work from home jobs hiring for 2021, where you can earn as much as $37 per hour. And one of them is at a company called arrive.com. So this is a mobility solutions company for navigating systems, voice platforms, websites, mobile apps, and in-car dashboards. Um, you can find their careers just by going to arrive.com and clicking careers at the top of the page. And then that will take you straight to arrive.com slash jobs. You can see their benefits right here by scrolling down a little bit. You'll see health, dental, vision, insurance, company sponsored life insurance and long and short term disability, employee stock options, 401k, um, all sorts of really good things here. Just kind of gym memberships. And some of these are going to be for people working in office. And then open positions, they list those right under there. You can also go to their jobs.lever.co page by going to jobs.lever.co slash arrive, where they also have their job listings here. So what you're looking for is the customer experience agent. Again, this is part time. And what you will do is basically do customer support. Uh, they want you to have a positive, empathetic and professional attitude. Uh, you'll be doing phone customer support as well, as you can see right here. Um, you'll also keep accurate records of customer interactions and transactions and escalate issues when needed. What you bring to the table as far as qualifications, minimum one plus years customer service experience in a fast paced environment, creative problem solver and effective communicator, uh, organized, detail oriented, have patience with people, good listening skills, coachable, all that stuff. Items of note must provide a computer, laptop with a reliable hardwired internet connection, PC requirements, they'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, they do also have three and a half consecutive days of training via video conference and a complete sa shadow session with a tenured agent. They'll tell you a little bit about your shifts and everything, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time. And then uh, also you won't work more than 29 hours per week. They are also looking for people just in the United States right now and the starting pay is $15.50 per hour. So as far as reviews, they don't have a lot of reviews at, at Arrive. They seem to be a fairly young company, um, but they do have three out of five stars uh, from the one review that they have. Next, we have a company called We Localize. So We Localize usually has some fairly easy part-time work from home jobs available. You can go to the bottom of their website to find a job, find open job positions right there under how can we help. They'll take you to their jobs.lever.co page. And then what you want to do is kind of scroll down a little bit. A lot of these are going to be like in office jobs and stuff like that. Um, and when you get when you get to the global freelance talent community, that's when you will find stuff where you can kind of just work, you know, maybe 10 to 20 hours a week and do something fairly easy. So what you want to look for is something like maybe an ads quality rater. So basically what you're going to do with this is you are going to look at search engines. You'll make sure that things like ads are relevant that everything is working properly. So basically you will provide subjective and objective ratings for advertisements based on project rules and conventions to kind of put it how they do. So five hours per week minimum up to 25 hours per week maximum requirements, fluency in English, strong understanding of popular culture in the United States for this particular one, but they have this for all over the world and this is something you can do in a lot of different countries. So it'll just depend on which country you're in for that part. Web savvy, excellent online research skills, reliable computer system internet, obviously antivirus software, able to follow instructions, sign non-disclosure agreements, uh, pass training and rigorous quality tests, and a bachelor's degree plus or equivalent work experience. So then you can apply by clicking the orange button at the bottom. As far as their reviews, We Localize has 553 reviews with a 3.7 out of 5 star rating. And as far as salaries, you can scroll down a little bit and you can usually find um, ads, tester or ad analyst. There you go, ad reviewer, $37 per hour based on uh, five salaries disclosed for this particular type of position. So. Uh, they also have a lot of different ones that are kind of branches of that. Uh, you have like a linguist, you have, you know, maps quality analyst, different ones that kind of branch off, but just a basic ads reviewer, like, like I was showing you, can pay you as much as $37 per hour. Next, you have Gaggle. You can go to gaggle.net to find their website. Gaggle is a safe classroom learning management system, and it's for K through 12 education. And here you can find their careers by going to About Us and then clicking Careers right there at the top right. 
and then they will tell you your benefits right here competitive salary medical dental vision life and disability insurance flexible spending and health savings accounts generous paid time off and leave policy as well as 401k with guaranteed company contribution scroll down a little more and you'll see their current openings but the thing is this is their kind of basic work from home jobs page they actually have other pages where you can find um, additional jobs that you can do part-time like a content review job which is actually on their paychecks page so uh, actually separate from their normal website but they do have work from home jobs on their website as well so responsibilities for this one include you will monitor and analyze student activity to identify potentially inappropriate usage including words phrases statements images quickly and efficiently process content uh, while maintaining a high level of accuracy process for a minimum of 10 hours each week escalate questionable findings to the safety team reps and additional tax tasks that are assigned requirements experience using various computer and web-based applications um, interest in enthusiasm for reading as the position requires focused attention to reading various links of content you have to also be able to tell between potentially harmful student matters and harmless situations experience with tech and social media culture trends and slang used by kids and teenagers exhibit tolerance of and respect of others opinions good communication skills things like that they'll also tell you some computer requirements that you'll need to meet for your home office setup other than that this is an independent contractor position so you will not necessarily be guaranteed work for a certain amount of time but by the contract so contracts are renewed when minimum requirements of the job are met or exceeded on a weekly basis as far as reviews they have 63 reviews with a 4.3 out of 5 star rating so they seem to be a good place to work and when it comes to salaries you can look at something like a content moderator usually they'll make around 10 11 dollars per hour another one is scribe america this is a place where you can actually um, do basically what is data entry related work and you can find careers by clicking that red square there at the top right of the page and you don't have to necessarily have any kind of healthcare background to work here even though this is a company that is going to specialize in medical scribe programs for doctors hospitals etc so you have some benefits and stuff here but this won't really apply too well for uh, what you're going to probably be looking for which is something like a telescribe so usually they'll have these telescribe positions if you uh, remove all the other ones on here and just look for telescribe usually you'll see some located in the u.s and they go by region instead of state so when you click on a region it'll have a group of states that you can be located in to apply so if you don't see your state on there in the very first page um, that's what you got to keep in mind you got to just click on the one where your state is in that region so again this is mainly data entry type work so if you don't mind being in front of a computer and mostly just typing um, this could be something you could do fairly easily uh, you'll have one-on-one -on -one time with physicians and other healthcare providers exposure to an emergency inpatient and or outpatient environment observe a wide variety of cases from trauma to pediatrics remotely from home of course develop lasting relationships with physicians so this is also great if you want to get into healthcare in some way pay training for all hired employees that provides a crash course in medicine including terminology disease processes etc so if you don't have that background yet or you haven't gone to college for it yet it's okay great alternative career for those of CNA MA EMT or paramedic backgrounds and you also have a flexible schedule if you are a college student as a telescribe, you will accompany the healthcare provider into patient examination rooms remotely from home, of course, and you will transcribe the patient's history, physical exam findings, consultations, labs, x-rays, etc. You will prepare plans for follow-up care, process admitted and discharge paperwork, provide advanced support to providers, including documenting phone calls and other things, and then qualifications and requirements for this. Usually they don't require much of you. Um, you have to be able to work at least two shifts per week of 8 to 12 hours each. It is a company's hope that this will be long term, high school diploma or equivalent for education. Um, other than that, you know, 50 words per minute is preferred as far as your typing speed. Keep that in mind. You can go to typingtest.com to test that for free. 
And other than that, you can pretty much just apply by clicking the link here or clicking the button at the bottom. So as far as reviews, they have a 3.1 out of five star rating as a company. And as far as salaries go for this type of position, you can expect around 10 to $11 per hour usually. Last but not least is if you want to do something like a virtual assistant type job. So you might do a little bit of a lot of different things. You might schedule things for uh, business owners. You might deal with email. You might manage a schedule. You might do some research, you might do some data entry, you know, you can do a lot of different things as a virtual assistant. You're just doing things that usually a business owner or an executive just doesn't have time to do themselves. And these can pay between 20 and $25 per hour if you know where to look. So uh, profitfactory.com is where you can go to find some pretty good um, virtual assistant jobs that pay fairly well around $20 or more per hour. And usually they are part-time hours. So if you want to do this on the side, a lot of times it's like 20 to 30 hours per week. And this will vary a little bit based on which one you want to apply for. So you have small businesses on here. So you're not really looking at like, I show you reviews for companies. You're not looking at reviews for Profit Factory. They're just the one that does the listings. You're looking at um, working for say this one, which is PodFest Origins, or you have another company, the sales connection. So you have all these different individual small businesses that you might work for or individuals um, that you might work for. Your daily responsibilities will vary like this one. You'll manage somebody's email, review contracts, research and respond to requests, booking and organizing travel arrangements, things like that, bookkeeping, experience with just a few different types of software. And then uh, you're looking at $27 per hour at 20 to 25 hours per week. They are looking for someone long term. So then they tell you how to apply and what to send and then you go to the next one, 30 to 40 hours per week. And you know, what you need, again, a lot of this stuff does not require much of you. They want you experience with certain types of like, a lot of times Microsoft Office or G Suite usually. Um, this one, they want you to be good with an email marketing platform, but that's usually not super common. $25 per hour for this one. And then here's one more example. Obviously you can go down the list on your own time, but this one is 20 to 25 hours a week for a CPA looks like. So you'll do email, phone messages, scheduling, print and file tax returns, things like that. They want you to have uh, experience with things like Google Suite, Trello, MailChimp, $20 per hour, 20 to 25 hours per week. So Again, you can just go down this list. You have a ton of different small businesses on here looking for virtual assistants all the time. And again, usually they'll pay at least $20 per hour and they're usually part-time hours. So hopefully this was helpful. These are five of the easiest work from home jobs. You can get part-time without much experience right now and you can get paid as much as, you know, depending on which one of these you do, you can be a search evaluator or something for we localize, get paid maybe $37 per hour. You can be a virtual assistant for 20 to 25, or you can take a little less and do something like a uh, scribe job where you're you know, doing just basic data entry for 10 or $11 per hour. It just depends on what you wanna do, what your skills are, things like that. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this one on a daily basis, and I'll see you in the next video.